Hello, I'm Debbie Timmons from The Average Gamer, and I recently played the first few hours of Lords of the Fallen. It feels a lot like Dark Souls, but with a bit more obvious plot. Everything in combat is systematic. Hit your enemy here, dodge here, hit twice and step back. Now do it again until he's dead. The game opens with two character choices, magic and armor. You choose some three of each. Brawling magic gives you powerful charges and damage buffs. Deception lets you create a damage dealing shadow, while solace buffs your defense and lowers that of your enemies. Your equipment types are split between light, medium, and heavy. These affect your movement speed and the amount of stamina you use. I went with the light rogue's armor and solace magic, giving me a ranger. This affects my base stats and means I have fast but light attacks and can dodge easily. Playing as Harkin, you're basically a killing machine, clearing rooms and murdering monsters. These guys are blind, so it's easy enough to sneak up and backstab them. Most enemies are fairly easy once you learn their weaknesses. You do get components and loot from scenery as well as monsters, so be prepared to roll into a lot of frenzy. Around the map you'll find portals like this one. They're only unlocked when certain conditions are met, like defeating a nearby boss. When you see them, remember where they are and check back, because you could find some nice rewards. Of course, not all of them are this easy. Sometimes you might be challenged as soon as you walk through. Throughout the land you'll find save shards. These convert your XP into spell or attribute points. You won't be able to advance certain spells until you have the right attribute points though, so choose carefully. On the other hand, holding onto XP will give you better loot from enemies, but you could lose it all in a single battle. It's a careful balance. If you're quick, you can retrieve your XP on your next go, but there is a countdown timer. The game is very much defined by the boss battles. Each one is totally unique and needs its own approach. Some will be surrounded by environmental weaknesses. Knock out the source of power before attacking. Others will regenerate till you find the weak spot. Your choice of weapons can make all the difference between a quick fight and a tedious battle of attrition. Like this guy. Oh my god. Lords of the Fallen is the kind of game that needs a lot of patience to play. Learn your gear, learn your environment, learn your enemies, and you might just have a chance. The game's out now on PS4, Xbox One, and PC.